place up to your home so I used to have a one unit out there outside ONT outside ONT unit but I told Verizon guy that I don't need that unit and place into my home let me explain you what is going on this is the ONT that Verizon uses it's connected with the fiber so I told the Verizon guy to bring a fiber up to my home so he did this drilling and pretty bad work he messed up everything finally he bring the cable here and it's connected with the one cable on this Verizon ONT unit so these ONT units are capable of mocha out which is this one this coax cable output and it's also capable of network uh, port out and these two you can see uh, are RJ11 these are for the telephone so mocha actually they use for the television and if you need a uh, what you call Wi-Fi uh, route Wi-Fi modem from Verizon what they, they will do that they will charge you $10 extra and they will hook up with this one but here the story is different so let me talk about this one so it's actually connected like this uh, with power and this is power supply and then this is connected the story is here that Verizon offering one gig line right now these days so one gig line is not capable to take a load over mocha uh, over coax cable so they will connect whatever the router they will provide you they will connect with an RJ45 through the network cable because mocha is not capable to give you more than 100 mbps is not capable to give you more than 100 mbps so if you have a network package 150 uh, up and 150 down 300 up 300 down or one gig network so they will always connect through the network port if second thing <laughs> if you have 5 gigahertz enabled modem sorry if you have 5 gigahertz a wi-fi router at home you can request them that i don't need a verizon router and i will hooked up my own router so when you will say this you can save ten dollars on this one second thing is this this is actually you can you will see is only one cable here so in a business line Verizon or Comcast or Cox communication they will always put two fibers con connection one for up one for down so these are designed differently so when you upload something and when you download something because the network speed is so fast they stop network uh, uploading and downloading simultaneously so you not feel you don't feel any any problem at all so so right now I'm hooked up with this cable directly to my computer to give you a demo so let me go in a safari and do some speed tests. Oops, what is going on? Okay, I'm connected on Wi Fi, turn off the Wi Fi. So let me go and verify my network connection. All right, I'm connected on the one gig network. This is my IP, it's direct IP that I'm getting, getting from Verizon, and this cable I can hook, the, hook up with my uh, Wi Fi router as well. But let me check um, something else. The connectivity is one one gig line. Oh, sorry, not this one. Oh, yeah, this one. It should be here and Thunderbolt and one gig, right? So let's do a speed test. Wow, this is the speed I'm getting. Look at this. It's directly connected here. Whereas in fact told me that the maximum speed, the guarantee speed is 725. It's uh, not one gig. And in Verizon document it says 950 or something or 850. 
But look at this, 435 megabit. So you're basically not getting a super duper high speed on this device, but you are getting a way better speed than the other provider or you have a Cox. I got a good deal, it's $70. I returned my modem uh, that I got from Verizon and this is, I'm pretty happy. I have this um, network um, speed, but I must say that the Verizon actually uh, lower the video streaming. The video streaming is not quick as you will get on the Cox communication or other providers. So I, what I figure out that if you change the DNS to the Google, it make a little bit different, but not big one. Let me run again, a speed test. Look at this. I'm using one gig line, uh, Lenovo modem. I mean, the, yeah, USB modem 3.0. And this is the what I'm getting from this small box. Right? This is the speed I got. Let me show you how you're gonna see, how you're gonna get on the Wi-Fi. All right, I'm using uh, Apple AirPort, which is capable of five gigahertz uh, network. And I'm connected on five gigahertz speed. Let me see what is my connectivity. Wi-Fi one GB. And let me do a speed test on this one. Okay, it's kind of same that I did before on the network, on the network cable, wire network cable. The thing is that if you want to enjoy a one gig line or more than 300 Mbps speed, so if you are in the room which where you have a Wi-Fi router with five gigahertz network, then yes, you can. If you are a little far from that on five mega five gigahertz network, you should connect on the network cable. Otherwise, you're not gonna enjoy the high speed that you are paying for. The good thing is the upload is so good. Whenever I upload any video on the YouTube or something, it goes smoothly. That's a very convenient thing. Upload is awesome. On Cox Communication, I had 150 down and only 15 mbps up which sucks but here this is on on wi-fi 5 gigahertz and i try Linksys routers this router that router i don't think so these are good 300 dollars 400 dollars waste of money just buy ac wi-fi router which support 5 gigahertz up to 1200 megabit per second speed 1200 yeah and more than that, this is 4K video streaming, video gaming, bullshit. It's all drama. So I have this one from four years. I'm using AirPort and I bought other Linksys up to date and Asus Wi-Fi routers. And those actually work the same way that this is working. Same range, same testing. I did file transfer, 4K video, XYZ. I didn't find anything. So this is the... This is a Verizon Fios 1 gig service line review. Thank you.